everyone! Welcome to One Small Genius! Today, we're going to show how telling time is so easy! We'll also be learning the clock face, minute hand, hour hand, and even the second hand! Soon, you will know how to tell the time is as easy as one, two, three! So, are you ready? Okay, so this is a clock face. It has the number 12 at the top and moves from left to right. This is called a clockwise direction. So from 12, we go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and back to twelve. This is the hour hand, shown in red. It's the smallest hand. This tells us the hour we are currently in. And this is the minute hand, shown in red. It's the longest hand. This tells us how many minutes we are into the current hour showing. This is the seconds hand, shown in red. The thinnest hand. This shows us how many seconds we are in into the current minute showing. For this lesson, the second hand is not needed because telling the time doesn't require the telling of how many seconds have passed. <laughs> so let's take it off for now. Okay, so let's start with the hour hand. This will indicate what hour we are in. For example, this is one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, and so on. If the hour is in between the two numbers as shown, we will say it's in the three o'clock range. We'll explain this shortly. Now, we have the minute hand. This indicates each minute that passes within the hour. So this is one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, Ten minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, twenty five minutes, thirty minutes, thirty five minutes, forty minutes, forty five minutes, fifty minutes. 55 minutes and 60 minutes. So, 60 minutes to one hour. 60 seconds to one minute. There is 24 hours to one day. 12 o'clock at night to 12 o'clock midday. Then, back to 12 o'clock at night. 12 plus 12 equals 24. So, you can have a 7 o'clock in the morning and a 7 o'clock at night. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. <laughs> so, let's look at an important part of telling the time. 
when the time shows this, you can say 7.15 or quarter past seven. Cause there is four quarters on this clock face. One, two, three, four. When using the word past, it's always when the minute hand is in this section of a clock face. When it goes past the six or the 30 minute mark, we say two. The time showing now, we say 25 minutes, two, eight, or we can say 735, cause the minute hand is 35 minutes into the hour of seven. Let's look at some more samples. When we show this time, it's 8.05, or five past eight. Think of all the numbers on the clock face as just numbers for the short hand. They are all numbers for what hour it is. Now, there is also these numbers. Used for the minute hand or long hand. So, we can come up with the current time. These numbers will get easier to remember the more you start telling time. Okay, so let's run through some times. This is 120 or 20 past one. Now we have 345 or quarter to four. The quarter being 15 minutes to four. <laughs> Do you understand? Let's go through some more. This is 455 or 5 to 5. In five minutes, the hour hand will be directly on the 5, indicating 5 o'clock. Now we have 625 or 25 past 6. Here we have 640 or 20 to 7. Okay, now it's your turn. I will give you some times, then we can have a try. Then we'll see if your answer is right. What's this time? Did you say 9.15? Or quarter past nine? What's the time here? <laughs> Did you say 11.50 or 10 to 12? Okay, let's try a few more. What's this time? Okay. Did you say 5.40 or 20 minutes to six? I hope you're going okay with your answer so far. Okay, what's this one? Did you say 20 past 10 for 1020? Very good. Just remember, the minute hand times is shown here. As a beginner, you can always count in fives to see how many minutes the long hand is on. So you can say five, 10, 15, 20. That's 20 minutes past the hour of 10. Okay, here is a few more. 11.50 or 10 to 12. Here is 12.45 or quarter to one. Next is 12 o'clock. Both hands are in the same position. Here 
is four o'clock. The minute hand has not progressed into any minutes into the four o'clock hour. So it's just four o'clock. I think you got it now. Hippie! <laughs> Did you have fun? Okay, we got a question for you regarding time. Do you know what AM and PM stand for? <laughs> if so, please leave your answer in the comments. But if you don't know, you can look in the description to find out the exact meaning. I think it might be different to what you think. Well, it's been great fun learning how to tell time. Hope to see you again next time. If you like our video, please think about subscribing by hitting the subscribe button. Then, the little notification bell. And, if you like this tutorial, please smash the like button. Thank you so much. And, bye-bye. Hehehehe. <laughs>